everybody, I am Nico D. I was taking a hiatus of one week this week, I didn't want to benchmark any SBCs or so, so I started to play some games, I installed DOSBox on my Gadas Fim 3, and I started to play all DOS games, the games that I used to play when I was young, and I couldn't stop anymore, and so I started to film a video about it. So here's the video about it. To install DOSBox it's very simple, just type in sudo apt install DOSBox and to launch it it's just DOSBox. To be able to change the settings of DOSBox we go to our user directory, so here it is colors and there we go to view and show hidden files. Then you've got to start DOSBox one time and after that you will see there is directory .dosbox. In that directory we find the config file for DOSBox. So here you can change a lot of things, read the text to know what everything does. I change the full resolution to desktop. And aspect to true. And I also set the scaler to three times normal and that's about it. So just read everything well and you will know what everything does. Then I created a folder called DOS games. And there I copied all my favorite DOS games too. So if we then start DOSBox again, then we can mount this folder to a C drive. So for that we type mount C and then the folder. And now we can go to the C drive. And here you see all the games that I've copied. Now to make this easier, we can add this line in the config file at the end, at autoexec, so this means it will auto-execute this line. If we open DOSBox again, then we can automatically go to the C drive. Oh no, I can't. So I made a mistake, as you can see, I did CADUS in instead of CADAS, so let's change that. Okay, so let's change that to CADAS and then it will work. So those box and there are all the games. I have switched to Armbian Buster on the CADAS Film 3 because here I can change my desktop resolution easily. That wasn't possible with the Ubuntu from Kadas. I needed that for my capture device. For DOSBox the single core performance of an SBC is very important. It can only use one core at a time. So the Kadas Film 3 is great for this. It's got uh, cores at 2.2 GHz A73 so that is a lot. Even the Raspberry Pi 4B will do great with it when it is overclocked to 2 GHz. So the first game I played was Descent. It's a great game, it's a 3D game, it's got great controls. You fly with a starship through a maze of tunnels. So first I've done setup.exe to have sound. So I've done auto detect and it found sound blaster. So now to play it I type in descent.exe or just type the first letters and press tab and then it will type in all the rest. Just like in Linux. The game really wants to tell me a lot of things. I don't know if anybody was ever interested in reading all that.
these days this game doesn't look that good, but you've got to think this is a game from 95, so it is almost 25 years old. And in that time it really looks great. I hadn't seen anything like this before and I played it so much. Next game I played was Doom, so I went to the directory of Doom, I saw there was an install.bat but no doom.exe, so I started install.bat and I installed Doom and then I started Doom and I played Doom and it was awesome. They now are selling it again Bethesda, they want you to have internet to be able to play this game. How crazy is that? Here is IndyCar Racing from 93, that was my favorite racing game. I played it again now and it seemed a lot harder than it used to be. As you could see it wasn't running too great, that was why I wasn't doing too well, so for that I've changed some settings, I've set the governor to performance instead of on demand, and also the big core is only clocked to 2.1 GHz and I've clocked it to 2.2 GHz. That way it ran a little bit better.
another of my favorite games when I was young. It was on my first PC I ever had, a 286. That was Graviton. So it's a very simplistic game. It's from 93, but it's a lot of fun. I used to be very good at it. Let's see if I can still play it. Well, that's not too bad for first time playing it in years. Oh, I still love this game. So that's it for this video. As you see, you can play a lot of DOS games on SBCs. It's really easy to do with DOSBox. It plays very well with very old games. But the more advanced the games, the more powerful the CPU needs to be. So it can only use one CPU at a time, so it's best to have an SBC with big cores, like the Catasfim 3 has, or the Raspberry Pi 4B. So thank you all for watching, I hope you liked my video, see you all later, bye!